after waiting for quite some time, we finally have our villain for Mortal Kombat 1, and it is... Kronika. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! I wake up 6 a.m. in the morning, and then I just see that all these content creators' embargoes lifted because they all got to go over to the NRS studio, and they were able to check out the first chapter of the Mortal Kombat story mode as well as the invasions mode. I'll probably talk about those in a later video, but I do want to talk more about Chronica. So this is the first shot we see of Chronica. So you you can watch them on like IGN the first 15 minutes and you'll see that like Shang Tsung is like a a salesman and nobody trusts him and we see this like hooded figure Rich is right here, Chronica talking to him about how he is meant for like much greater things than just being some sort of salesman in some way. Not to unpack for this reveal of Kronika, but let me start by talking about like the threat of her, like if, if she is going to be a full on threat because if you go back to the bio for Liu Kang, it said, um, but that piece is now threatened by an enemy that Liu Kang could have never anticipated. So. That was, was this meant to like be the threat that he did not dissipate because I, w I am, I, th there's a bit to go off of because like it's, I'm half and half when it comes to like Chronica as its character and I'll explain why that is. So for a lot of people, Chronica didn't really make like a big impression of like wanting to be brought back because um, honestly she really didn't seem that interesting of like a villain and as a boss character because yeah she had like time powers but didn't like fully do much with them aside from like freezing people and just like bringing enemies back it really didn't um there wasn't really any cool qualities about her because like it just felt like she was very stale when it came to her story especially for um a lot of her fights because like you only got to like fight her i guess once and then you just see her be derailed in the aftermath. I think that definitely annoyed me though was her boss fight because this was probably the worst boss fight I ever did for like any character. It's not like it's because it's art, it's how it's like how she's designed to like fight because with how a lot of other boss characters in Mortal Kombat are set up, they at least have like normal proportions to them where you're able to do like some normal things to them, but with Kronika, she's not really designed as a like a normal character because like she's designed so weirdly because you're not really able to combo off of her as well as you're not able to like land like any specific stun moves on her. Like if you wanted to ice freeze her at all, no, that won't work. If you try to like throw a spear, that would not work. You're just only dealing like slow blows to her uh, as you're like trying to fight her, which really sucked because. There, it, I feel that at least if you're gonna do a boss fight, you should at least have like the normal proportions. Like you should still behave normally, like as any of the other characters, because that's how Shao Kahn was and Corrupted Shinnok. They still acted normally, and you were able to still do the things that you were able to do. The only I think thing you weren't able to do was like throws, but I, that's fine because you're still able to at least get combos off. At least let me do combos, so at least I can work with something. Anywho, let me go back to like just talking about this one in particular. So I guess with this one, she um she's going to like be manipulating characters on like how they're supposed to be because like they're going to because like, I'm guessing she's going to go um over to like other characters like uh, Shao General Shao like he's supposed to be emperor and he's going to use that to like be like a conqueror which uh, I'm hoping is not the case because I'm liking this new take on Shao but I get the feeling that Kronika is going to be manipulative on that so that's gonna happen as well as I'm trying to think of what else I'm hoping I'm, I'm really hoping this doesn't happen but I get the feeling Garrus um, might have a hand with Kronika doesn't I'm hoping this doesn't come to fruition but I get the feeling that Garrus may or may have had a hand in helping Kronika survive. Um, and that's why she's still in the background. So it's either Garrus watches over her to make sure that she's okay, because I get the feeling that she doesn't have her time ability still, or Garrus is playing Liu Kang 
and trying to help Chronica regain the sands of time. I'm really hoping it's not the second one at all, because I, I feel like Gary's character is much better here with uh, with Liu Kang than with Lu Kronika, because with Kronika, he was just taking L's. He took all, so many L's, and I'm hoping that does not happen with Garrus. It just occurred to me, I don't even think she has her, like, time abilities yet. Because I know she has, she still has, like, the same body as, like, she has, like, the same design. Because I just lost the image. How did I lose the image? Or, oh, you know what? It's right here. Because, yeah, look, if you see, like, she still has, like, that circuit circle on, like, her head. Like, that, uh, robot part. Because, like, she looked, she looked kind of mechanical in a way. Like, she looked, she looked somewhat mechanical without how she was designed. So, it looked like she's somewhat staying to that design in a way whereas um she's not like looking human so it does but does she still have like her time abilities is the real question because like is she going to just wave people like show people like the past like how they were like what they were like in the previous era or is she just going to be mainly relying on garrus and gonna just absorb him just to get his abilities i feel like it might be something like that I've said this like once or twice in my uh, discussion videos for how the story was going to be, but I get the feeling Liu Kang wanted her to be in this era just to experience it. I, like, I'm not just, like he was being merciful. Like, think about how everyone is in this era, because you have you have Shao Kahn, who's seen as a hero to most of the people in our world. You have Shang Tsung, who's also in this era, just as a merchant. And you also have Havoc living in here, who's like this chaos character as well. You have, gosh, now my head's like losing it. Um, you have Bihan, who is now leading the Lin Kuei. You have like all of these changes to all these like villainous characters that are like living in this new era of peace. Because um, the way I see it though is that. Liu Kang is wanting everyone to live in this new era of peace, regardless of who they were beforehand. He's giving them all a clean slate to live off of. But Kronika clearly does not want that. Last thoughts on just seeing her back. It really feels like a big gamble on this, because everything I've seen for this, I have been loving. It has all been good, because we've seen like a lot of great changes and a lot of great gameplay mechanics. I feel with Kronika, it's like a major gamble because like how, of how a lot of other people felt with her presence in the previous game. Because like, it can it can be good with her, how she operates, or it can go like in a bad way. I feel it might turn out positive. I feel that it will definitely have like a positive outcome with how she may operate in the air. I definitely have that feeling. Last thing I do want to bring up, though, is will she be on the roster? I don't think she might make it. I, I, she, it's, 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 it's kind of a 50-50 because no one at this point knows who this secret character is at this point because everyone already knows that the, the next two we'll be getting are Reiko and Natara, but... There's like this one hidden one that's just a wild card at this point. So I'm curious if Kronika actually manages to be playable and how will that will turn out. Let me know how y'all think she'll play if she ends up actually being playable. And let me know what you think of her presence because we're now, I think, three weeks away from this game releasing. It's crazy. We are very close to fully experiencing this new era and let me know what else you think about how this story is gonna go thank y'all for watching and i shall see y'all soon